Hi, this is Eric with Data Store. Thank you for joining our Quick Start video series on Quantum Data Store Shield with the standalone tape drive. There are four videos in this series. First, we will install the software. Second, we will install the tape drive. Next, we will configure software to back up to disk. And then finally, we will configure the software to vault to tape. The first step in installation of the software is choosing the server to host Quantum Data Store Shield. We require Server 2008 or newer operating system to host the software. Data Store Shield can protect remote computers running Server 2003 through Server 2012 R2. What we're talking about here is the host server for the Archive Manager Central Console which also includes a license for protection of the local server. We're also going to require that the tape drive is attached to the physical server. This can be done either before or after installation of the software. Once the server has been identified, there are a couple of server features we need to install. .NET Framework 3.5 and the Desktop Experience feature. On Server 2012 R2, Server Manager can be accessed from the taskbar. Select to add roles and features, then click through the wizard until you reach the Features page. On the Features page, select .NET Framework 3.5 Features, and also check under User Interfaces and Infrastructure that the desktop experience checkbox is checked. Then click Next to install the features. A reboot will be required after the desktop experience feature is added. After you have downloaded the Quantum Data Store Shield setup file to your host server, double click the setup file to install the software. Click Finish to close the Setup Wizard, and the Archive Manager user interface will open. The software will prompt you for your license key. Click to add a license key. You can then add and enter your license key. If you need to edit your license keys in the future, you can select Archive Manager in the left pane and then edit license keys in the Actions pane. You can then add or remove or activate other licenses. To protect other servers in the network, add a remote server license and activate it. You can also add an advanced feature pack to support Exchange, SQL, or full computer system recovery. Your software is now installed and ready to be configured.